today, guys. Okay, the third Sherman has arrived. Been waiting, uh, how long have been waiting for this? About possibly two months. So it's a hang long, it's a professional Sherlong, Sherlong, Sherman tank. And it's the six series, it's not the seven. I was hoping it was gonna be the seven, but it's not the six. So uh, let's open it, unboxing the Sherman. Let's have a look. Got a little pair of scissors here. I'll go right through the cardboard. Okay, here we go. And I asked for a basic one, but I've got the professional one, so that's happy days. They just, uh, it's always hard to get these tanks out of the box. And uh, what I do, I use this box as a, a firing range for my other Shermans for the BB. I'll leave that there. There you go. The Sherman Pro. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> my son's in here as well. He's, he, he's behind the camera. Making me laugh. So let's just open this and look inside. This is our third Sherman. This one's going to be an experiment tank, okay? So um, I most probably won't have the BBs firing. I'll take that. I won't take it out, but I'll put the tube in for the smoke and the little flashlights, hopefully. Now I'm going to do that myself. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge because I've never done anything like that in my life. Crikey. <laughs> it's um, uh, it turns over his eyes. Uh, I'm trying to get this out. This is uh, a bit of a a problem I always have. Yeah, here we go. Is that alright that side? No. Wow, they certainly pack these quite well, I tell you. There you go. Got... Is it else in there? There's a BB in there. What's going on? <laughs> Found a BB. So that's another box to our collection there. That'll fall in my back in a minute. So, what we got here. We've got a little booklet, and we've got the transfers as well. Now, the transfers are not water ones, okay, guys? They're the ones that you, you put on, you keep them on there for 10 minutes to 15 minutes, okay? You rub them quite hard. So, uh, there's the aerial as well, okay? Don't lose that. Even though, you don't, I mean, I don't normally put them on the um, other tanks there. But we keep it in the bag so you don't lose it. It's really hard to lose. Yeah, you can lose that easy. There's the transfers, okay? Now what you do, you cut around them, and then you peel off the backing. You put it on the tank, rub it. I find when you rub it quite a lot, it heats up the, the sticker. Okay, so you keep sort of rubbing like that when it's on there, you know. Rub, 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 rub. And then when you come to take it off, get the corner and just roll it. Now when you roll it, the, the actual transfer should stay on the tank, okay? Don't try and lift it and lift up lift along with it okay when you lift along with it the transfer will stay on it won't break hopefully i haven't had a problem uh with the transfers only the tiger one which uh, they don't seem to stay on the tank i don't know why but all my other tanks they stay on quite well so yeah as i say just roll it along and come off don't lift it up and pull it off you'll pull the transfer off okay so that's all the transfers there little practice range there you get as well cardboard you've got a couple of cardboard legs there which are you pull out, put those there, and then, see, I told you that fall on me back. <laughs> okay, so then you get like a little booklet on your remote control, giving you all the all the tips and everything and how to use it, and if you have a problem, where to look, and uh, that's pretty handy. Uh, you know, I've got all my tanks, you get one of these, you end up just keeping one, okay, get rid of the, the others, unless it's a different uh, version. Now here you have, the little booklet on the Sherman tank, okay? This will tell you where to put like all the accessories, all the bits and pieces. It'll tell you about the battery, it'll tell you about the oil that you put in it, and you only put a very, very tiny little bit of oil, okay? Don't overflow the oil um, units. If you do that, then what you'll have to do is uh, take take the, 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 the top off the tank, get in there, unscrew the, the smoke units, and then get the oil out, make the wick dry, put a little dob of oil on back in again, then hopefully it will smoke well again. And I did that and it smoked quite well. And this is where it shades for all your accessories and your stickers. So I don't need to look at that because I already had two Sherman tanks, so we'll put that there for now. Now, 
This is what my son's been waiting for. Even though we've had two before. Yeah, but, but this, this one. Hmm? But this one's the pro one. Yeah, that's right. It's the pro. What well, other ones are pro? So, um, I don't know why the other ones were called just promotional. Uh, there you go, BBs. But won't be using those, be using those with the other tank. There's your accessory kit. Oh, God. Okay, this is all your bits and pieces. Uh, <laughs> it's unlocking like dead off here. You got all your bits for your tank. There you go. So, uh, you know, you, you can paint them up. You put straps on the little um, backpacks there and all that and uh, weather it all. It'll look quite good. So we'll have a look at that after. And as you know, in my other videos, if you have been watching, I've been making loads of little Lego bits, you know? So uh, yeah, the Lego bits will be going on this one as well, because I'm going to try and make this one into a Firefly, okay? Uh, not a British one, American one, I think. So uh, it's okay, it should look all right. There you go, there's a standard battery. That'll only last about 20 minutes, okay? Um, you can plug it in like now, and it'll only last just for testing. So it doesn't last that long, you just test it out. They say to do that, test it all out before you do anything, if anything problem, then send it back to where you got it from. So uh, yeah, a little standard battery. It's okay, I've got loads of these now. So I'll just put that to one side. Here you got your little charging. Uh, that's pretty good, that little charger, but it doesn't tell you, you know, what what's left in the battery. You know what what's what um, power you got left or what you charge up to so it's always best to buy one of those little chargers that tells you what you got left in it and that but that's just a simple little um, USB thing that we just plug into you know when you get your phones you plug it into the old socket thing and uh, plug in the battery and happy days so I've got stacks of them as well and uh, there you go there's the there's a remote control now it is a 6.0s okay I was hoping this for the seven. I'm not too sure what is on the seven at the moment. So um, uh, one day I will get seven. So uh, we'll see what the difference is. I haven't even read up on what is different with the seven. Uh, obviously there is some difference, but we'll find that out. There's no it doesn't come with batteries, okay guys? But I've got six of these now, and uh, you can use these on all my tanks. They all like, uh, you know, you can sort of, uh, uh, what, what should I say, uh, make them, uh, run on the same one, there you go. I can't remember, God. Oh, uh, I'm more excited because I got this. Anyway, there you go, you got your bits and pieces in here. You got your infrared little mushroom thing that you put on top. It, yeah, it does make the tank look a bit like it's not, <laughs> he's laughing again. It does make them look like it's not real, but um, it's great fun when you're playing uh, infrared. Uh, is it accurate? Uh, you know, I was playing with my son about all the other day. And uh, my gun was slightly off to one side, and uh, he was shooting, and I was shooting. I wasn't shooting his tank, and yet I was killing him. So I don't know if it was bouncing off somewhere of a mirror. I don't see any mirrors in here. And uh, or outside, you know, and, and sometimes I can kill him like that if my barrel's over that way and he's there, and I, I can shoot him. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's great fun, I'll tell you. So I'll just put that to one side down there. What, we, what else have we got in here? Oh, there you go, we got oil. Now, sometimes when you order these, the oil doesn't come, okay? So some of you guys are gonna be upset. I've got stacks of this oil now. I have to find out what this oil is. I heard it was baby oil, but I'm not too sure. And the best thing is to ask the manufacturer what they oil they use or what you can use, or can you buy it at your hobby shop, which uh, would be perfect. But that, you have plenty. That will last a long, long time, I'll tell you. So also, I'll be using that oil for when fire the gun okay the the barrel you know fire that up uh smoke should come out there when i do this hopefully I've got a little flashlight to put in it as well got some more stuff here there you go you got some more accessories for the tank as well You've got a little soldier a uh, little commander there as well so uh yeah happy days for all the accessories now trying to get this tank out let's have a look let's see Sits in there pretty uh, snug. Snug as a bug. God, blimey. There you go. There you go. And my son's looking at it. <laughs> hey, you like that, honey? Yes. Okay, got, got all white bits from, uh, from that, which is a bit, of a bit of a pain, but there you go. So there you go. 
that's the Sherman naked, okay? It hasn't got any of the bits on it at the moment. It just looks kind of basic. Metal tracks, and then you've got the metal uh, wheels at the two ends there. So uh, pretty heavy. That's nearly going on to five kilos. Possibly 4.5, something like that. But once you start adding all the other bits to it, and the bits inside I'm gonna add, and if you get a bigger battery, yeah, you're looking at five kilos of tank, you know? You put your battery underneath there, you see with the apartment there. So that's a screw. You got your switch underneath there as well. And uh, God, well, I mean, it's full of a uh, full of this uh, white polystyrene, you know. It's uh, that's better. Let's just get rid of all these bits and pieces. I'll make the video look a bit better. So uh, there you go. Now, there. These are the other bits and pieces that I made. If you haven't seen my other videos, okay. Lego. Look at that. If you turn it around that way, and what I'll do, I'll weather it a little bit more. That is gonna sit on the back of there. Like that, okay. Obviously, I'm holding the tank, I can't hold it. So that's gonna sit there like that, guys, okay? So, uh, yeah, it's moving around a bit, but. Now, what I'm gonna do is use car masking tape. Okay, if you ever use that stuff, you put it on your car to stick the plastic on to make it look good, you know? All the plastic chrome bits on your car. If you stick it on there, it's gonna stay, okay? If you glue it on there, it can, if you go over bumps, uh -huh. or, yeah? It's not a car, it's a tank. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about the car, the, the, the mounting uh, um, sticker. So, uh, if you glue that on, obviously when you go to the bumps, it can fall off, okay? Uh, you can screw it in from the other side, but I want to, just in case I want to change it again, I'm going to put that, that mounting car sticker on the back and it'll just come off when I want it to come off. So obviously this color is going to blend in with the rest of the tank. So um, there you go, it's going to kind of look a little bit fucking uh, like that, okay? So that's pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. And also what I made, which is probably seen in the video, and I've just weathered it up a little bit now, so it looks a little bit different from the video. Put that on top. So that will go on the front. Just there. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's the old hedgerow cutters, okay? And then I made sort of like little boxes like that, ammo, or I don't know, whatever you want to put in that, I suppose. And uh, what I've seen for like wooden case boxes on the, I've, I've Googled it. If you, you can make some like cardboard, um, wooden cases um, and then wrap Lego around inside so it's solid you know and you can print out these old ration uh, boxes that they had in the Second World War they're, they're only like tiny little things here but be good on the tank you know all these sort of like little um, wooden uh, crates of booze you know put that on as well that'd be pretty good so uh, so there you go guys um, this will be an experiment tank um, it, it was pretty cheap so uh, it's a pro version. Uh, I won't start it up, or shall I? Shall I start it up, honey? Yes. Oh, okay. He wants me to start it up, so hang on, guys. Email. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but we use it for remotes, okay? We can show people that we can use that then. That you can use other ones, but we have to make sure that we, uh, yeah, make sure that it sort of uh, connects properly. So, I'll just, uh, Bit off here. There you go. Well, one screw, and uh, there you go. That's inside. Okay. Now, obviously, if you've got a tank, you know what's inside. Okay, guys. You just got one connection in there. When you've got a bigger battery, it's a really tight fit. Okay. I mean, it's really tight. So uh, it's good because the battery doesn't roll around or anything. You know. Now the lights already come on on the tank. I haven't switched it on, so. It's all ready to go. Let's see if it's got the smoke oil in as well, okay? So I'll just do up the old uh, battery door there. Battery door. Okay, so that's done up. Okay, as you can see, when it's, see the lights are on now. Okay, now I'll just take one of my old remote controls, okay? Uh, I might have to, um, that's the one, that's a new one, okay? Uh, let's pick, uh, let's pick. That one there, okay. Right, let's do the volume. Right, that's up. So you've got one, two, three. 
three, four, five, six. And that should go off now. Okay, so it goes off. So let's just try the different sounds. Amazing. Wow. Okay, that's good. Does it go all the way around? No, it doesn't go all the way around. That is awesome. I didn't realize there was a recoil on this. There you go. And again. Okay. So, we might put the long barrel on my old one, okay? Yeah. Yeah, got the machine. you got the machine gun there, which you've got to put the gun on, okay? So once I put the gun on, it'll look a little bit better there. So, um, let's, let's have a go here. And let's change the noise. Wow, okay. That sounds good, eh, Arnie? I did not know that we had the recoil where it goes back and forth. That is good. Now I was going to change the barrel on this one, but I might I might change up my old tank. This one is quite good on you, okay? Okay, so let's just see if yeah, that's alright. Goes back and forth. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, how about smoke? There might not be any oil in there, is it? Oh, there! Oh, there you go, guys. Gee, yes. Wow! I don't know if you can see that, guys. Can you see that? Okay, it might I just, just have a touch in, in there. No, this is it. Yeah, let's see. There is, there is smoke there. But what they might do is might just put a little touch in there, you know? It smells, doesn't it? So that's happy days. So there you go guys, the Sherman with recoil, which I didn't realise that goes in and out, happy days. I can see why it's the professional now, and why the one that's not professional. Uh, this is definitely better, so this one will have to be my son's and my tank together, because we won't change the, we won't put this one on there, Arnie. That will not go on there, okay? That will go on my one, okay, or your one. Which one do you want it on? That's awesome. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the, the unboxing of the Sherman tank. Let's just turn the, the sound off. God, I'm shouting it and just, uh, hang on. There you go. So. The Sherman with the, this is our first recall where it goes back and forwards, guys. Um, on our other two tanks, we thought we had the professional ones, but they were the, the promotion ones. So uh, this has got the steel gears, the steel little engine in it. It's got, it's got all yeah, the motor, shall I say. And uh, yeah, it's got uh, obviously metal tracks, uh, the metal rocker arm, and the wheels. Uh, the caterpillars, yeah, I said that before, the gearbox. So there you go, that's the professional edition, which I got very, very cheap. It's unbelievable. I got this really cheap. <laughs>
Okay guys, so that's all the accessories on there now, as you can see. I also put the, the hedge rose cutter as well. And uh, yeah, it's looking, uh, it's looking okay. Now, <laughs> these little uh, backpacks, okay. Uh, don't, well, it's up to you if you want. If you want to put them on the side like that, on the side of the, the turret, it, it doesn't look natural. So what I've done, I've made little chamois uh, straps there, and then you can hang them over things that hang on the side there. So then they kind of look a little bit like, a little bit like that, okay? And also I'll put the backing on as well from the chamois. If you look behind these uh, packs here, they're like Lego bits. So I just added that. So you can put like your, there you go, your bags on the side like that. It looks a little bit better than actually sort of stuck on the side of the, on the turret, you know? <laughs> so, um, okay guys, putting the transfers on. What I'll do, I'll just take all the loose stuff off now. Um, I haven't stuck it down. They'll give you like little stickers to stick all this on, you know? But as I say, use that car mounting tape. It's brilliant. I've got it on mine as well and it doesn't move. So I'll just take all these extra loose bits off here. There you go. And all the back bits there. And I'll put the transfers on now. So there shouldn't be anything on there loose now. So I'll turn the tank sideways, okay? Because uh, you want to get these uh, stickers uh, bang on, you know? You don't want them sort of going to the side a little bit or anything. So you've got to put it on the side and you've got to look down on it. It's better. Get a good placing of the... So you kind of put it like that. So you know it's straight, you know? So what you do, you peel it. There you go. Okay, you look at the tank, you look back a bit, okay? And then, of the star, you want the two bits at the bottom, okay? So then you, you put it like that. I hope your head's straight. So that kind of looks all right, actually. Now what I do is uh, just do a little bit of rubbing now and uh, it kind of warms up the transfer. I bet this is going to be one of the first ones that I'll do that won't come off. It'll stay on there though. I mean it will uh, peel it off shall I say. So let's just keep rubbing. Do all the edges as well you know on, on the star do the end of the points because uh, when you peel the stuff off that's where it'll just cut off and break. So just give it a good old rub on the edges there. Make sure it's looking all right. See, I keep rubbing it until it's nice and warm, you know. Yeah, the top bit there because it curves over a bit there. Just keep rubbing. Now this is getting quite, quite warm now. This is now. So keep rubbing like. Now, as I said before, roll it off like that, okay, guys. When you roll it off like that, it should the plastic. Try not let it flip back, okay. There you go. Happy days. I'll show you guys there. And, uh, just very lightly with your finger or with a cloth maybe. Or maybe a finger if you put a cloth in there might stick to it. So there you go. There's the first star. So then we've got another couple here. That's the actual... Uh, so I that one. I need me glasses. I can't see. Crikey. Okay, get the next one. And then you drop it. Okay, I'm gonna get your glasses. <laughs> no, I'm okay, my boy. Okay, you go. That's it. Now I kind of look at that side there and bring the star down to the side here. Turn the tank sideways. And you look back a bit. That's happy days. It could go a little bit higher, but it doesn't really matter. I'm quite happy with that actually. The good thing about it, you can buy these um, transfers, you know, and uh, if you make a mistake, well, I just no harm just buying them again and put them on again. You go, give it a good rub again. See, that didn't take longer than rubbing on the other one, you know, it's uh, less, than, less than a couple of minutes, I think. But as I say, if you keep doing that, just keep rubbing it. Rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until the plastic is getting warm. 
because I think that's when it releases from the actual sticker. The transfer then sticks onto the tank. So that's getting quite warm now. And so is my thumb. Right, let's just do a rollback now and see what happens. Uh, still just a little bit on the edge there. Well, I didn't rub much up here, you see. So I'm going to rub a little bit more. Yeah, let's just do a roll back now and see. No. A little bit more rub in there. They do say about 15 minutes, so to leave it on there and just do whatever you want. Just put the other stickers on and come back to it. So we go now. And try not to flick back. If it flicks back, then you have a problem. So you're trying to... There you go. That's happy days. There you go, guys. So that's on there. That's uh, good. And uh, what I do, I always put the transfers on now, and then you do your weathering afterwards. Because uh, if you do your weathering on the tank, then you put the transfers on. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> Uh, as you can see here, with the tank I got here, my son's one. There you go. Yeah, there. Yeah. See, um, those were put on first, and as you can see, they sort of blend in quite well, you know. Where the arrow will go there, my son? You got it, yeah? yeah? Okay, let's put it back on. I'll secure it later. Pinch it a little bit there as well. Now, you have one going on the, on the front here as well, which I'll put there. And uh, the other transfers I'll do another time. It's just to show you guys what you've got to do with these, you know. So as I say, turn on the side. Look at it. Make sure the two at the bottom. Kind of put it there. I have to remember I've got to put the panels on the side as well. So I might bring it a little bit forward a bit. There. There you go, guys. And you don't have to copy the the hang long where they said to put it. I mean, you can put them wherever you want, really. The the actual transfers. But I do like my tanks to be different now. And this one hopefully will be different to the others. This one will be, I'll leave the barrel as it is because it's a recoil, okay? I won't change that because if I change it, I can muck it up. My other ones are not recoil, they, they don't go back. So my son's decided he wants his, the long gun, the long barrel on his tank. So I'll be doing that with the smoke and the lights. Now if I muck it up, he's not going to be happy with me, eh, Arnie? There you go. Don't worry, good boy. There you go. Hey, we're teamwork, aren't we? So what we'll do, we'll roll this back and see what happens. Okay, let's go. Uh, try not to let it flick back like I just did then, but there you go. That's happy, happy days. That's on there. There you go, guys. So, that's just showing you, uh, yeah, also, I've got to tell you, okay, uh, it's all right because I've I got some left uh, over. When you put these little uh, loops on for the ropes, okay, some of them will snap off. That one snapped, okay. So what I'll do, I'll just hook those out and I'll put my other ones on that I got there. Uh, be careful sometimes when you're putting some of the stuff on. This plastic accessories, they are a bit brittle. So be very careful. And then when I showed you when I was putting them on, I had to go back on them again and glue them into place because they were quite loose. And some are still, still loose. That one's okay. And just these things here, I glued the gun basement, I, I glued. So, uh, and uh, the little machine gun I had to glue as well, that was quite loose. So there you go guys, that is the Sherman tank. Professional. Now is that good on you? And we'll weather that, and we'll make that tank. And good tracks. Yeah, good tracks. Okay, we'll make that tank look like this one here. This. With the panels on the side, all the extra little bits, weathering, sandbags, you name it. It's got everything on the back there that you can think of. So uh, it's happy days. On this one, as I said, this one will have the long barrel. We'll take this off. I've already put the box on the back there as like the Firefly. There you go. That little box on the back here is the Lego. It's a different color at the moment, but I'm, I'll tell you it'll be the same color as the tank when I'm finished with it. 
so uh, there you go guys I haven't even weathered that box yet and that is stuck on by that car mount doesn't even move it's solid so no drilling holes into the into the turret it's happy days so there you go guys that's a hell of a long video for you guys to watch I hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys later bye bye